Here we are. Welcome to Electric Tau. My name is Michael. Uh, today we're going to set up our first telluric current monitoring probes. Uh, I hope you uh, you caught the video yesterday, the introduction to uh, telluric current. This one is called measuring the telluric current. I've got my two probes ready to go. I've got the wires attached to the probes through uh, through the lug nuts. The, or the, Yes, and, and they just tighten and, and crimp that wire back there. And uh, we're getting ready to install it. It's almost 7 o'clock. i got about 10 minutes. So let me get this set up. Uh, uh, let me just give you guys a bit of advice. So make sure you know where you're putting these probes. They're going down one foot. Make sure there's no, uh, no uh, water lines, no uh, electrical lines. So be safe, okay? All right, let me get this ready. I'll be, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, I'm going to splice this in. You saw the tape measure there. I forgot to mention that we're spacing them uh, six feet apart, and the two probes are aligned to the north-south direction. So, use your compass, your GPS, do the best you can. Not terribly critical, but on to our readings. We got all set up here. I've uh, I put the flagging tape on the two probes. I just got them in the ground. Um, as you see what I did, the, the red wires, they're coming toward the center between the two. Now, if you'll notice, I just put a couple of bricks here. That's to hold the wire. It wants to curl up and fly away. Um, and also got them kind of bent up in the air. We don't want those wires, those exposed wires, touching the ground. We got our meter ready. I've attached to it these alligator clip leads. As I say in the, in the introduction video, uh, we're not going to touch these wires. We do, you don't want to touch those probes. I had to retighten the lug nuts, the, the grounding lugs, um, because of the pounding with a hammer it vibrated the, it loose, so I retightened them. It's, it's just now right at seven o'clock. We're ready to go. Um, let me show you uh, this paper, this graph paper over here on the side. Gee, can you make that out? I, I, we're gonna start a little column down here uh, and that's gonna be our, our readings. First we put the time and then, um, let me see if I can get a little closer here. I don't know if, how well that's gonna work. If you can read this pencil. I like using pencil because I always mess up. Now, for the first hour, uh, I practically I actually allowed you guys yesterday. For the first hour, I'm going to ask you to make a reading every 15 minutes. So, uh, and you'll and you'll see why when we do the graph, you're going to see a certain phenomena that you're not going to see any other time. So, uh, give me just a moment. We'll get over here and get our, our first reading. Uh, as I was saying, um, we're, we're already getting a. You can see the millivolts there. That's what we'll be measuring is in millivolts. But uh, again, negative lead of the meter to the south probe, positive to the north. Uh, we're only going to read a few seconds. What we're going to do is, you, since it might be rapidly changing, uh, you know, fluctuating, we're going to just uh, read it for a few seconds and, and pick the average of what it was. Uh, there, uh, there's no need to get the highest voltage or the lowest voltage. There's, there's no good vo voltage or bad voltage. Uh, but uh, yeah, get a reading. Um, it's 7 o'clock. I'm going to put it down 11 because it, it was 11.1 millivolts. So. That's one I'll put down. We'll be back at 7.15, get another reading. So, see you then. 7.15, time for our second reading. I'm showing, let's see if you can take a look here, a negative 13.6 millivolts. We're gonna log that. Uh, I forgot to mention that. In between readings, uh, go ahead and turn your meter off. Save your power, save your battery power. Disconnect your two uh, alligator clips from, from them. We'll be back at uh, 7.30 for our next reading. So, see you guys there. 30. Oh, I'm showing uh, negative 15.5 millivolts. Now, you guys, you're going to get different readings. And if you'll notice, and this is really unusual, we just jumped to 15.6. But I'm going to go with 15.5 and uh, record that. Uh, you guys, uh, you're going to get different readings from me. Uh, we all will. Uh, there's, As I say, there's no good voltage or bad voltage. Uh, and yesterday we had a, a pretty good rain, and this, and this ground is, is damp. And I've noticed over the years of reading that... Uh, uh, after a, a rain or during a rain, it's just going to basically short out your readings. You're screwed. You're not going to read a dang thing. And, and I don't know how many days I've been just dis dis disgusted because I was getting good fluctuating readings and then all of a sudden rain ruined the entire day. So uh, I forgot to mention, I believe I did, um, we, you know, uh, we're, we were saying that I was saying that we're going to measure the telluric current. Technically, we're not, we're not uh, at this point measuring the current we're, we're measuring uh, a dc voltage and it's in the millivolt range now a millivolt is, is one thousandth of a, of a volt it's very tiny but it's enough for a signal now um so some of you guys may see on your meter 
um, which I'm not today, which is unusual, a rapidly fluctuating reading, you know, uh, a few tenths of a millivolt change rapidly. Uh, this is perfectly natural, uh, and we'll explain that in the future, what that is. But uh, if, if so, just, just pick the average of the few seconds that you're reading. Pick the average in between the high and low that you're getting. Don't, don't try to put the highest reading. The highest reading doesn't mean anything. Just high or low, it doesn't matter. So yeah, you're going to see this change throughout the day, and that's the whole point of this. We're going to get it on the graph paper. Um, I'm going to try <laughs> and see how long I can go tonight. Um, I'm going to try to go to midnight because I want a good waveform. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hang in there with me. So, um, it, you know, if you can't, at least you'll see you'll see my graph and, and what's going on. But uh, I believe my, my uh, signal is pretty attenuated today. I'm not seeing a lot of fluctuation. Now I, I see it's jumped to 15.9. But uh, you, this is a point where uh, this first hour we will see a rapid change relatively to the rest of the day. So, again, we're measuring in DC millivolts. We're not measuring the current per se. Uh, we'll see in future videos how to uh, calculate how to, how to come up with the actual current and it's in the microamps with these little probes it's it's very small and a microamp is uh, one millionth of an amp you uh you know you're not going to power your home or anything with this so um anyway we'll be back at 745 for the next reading i believe i said negative uh, 15.6 is where i was i can see it's fluctuating up and down now we're down back down to 15.6 so this is normal um, I'll explain this in the future, why we have this rapid fluctuation. Uh, you guys hang in there. 745, we'll be back. Uh, 8 o'clock, I'm going to do my last, uh, my last recording uh, on video. And uh, we'll be back uh, at night with a, full, uh, with a full readings for the day. And then we'll convert it or, or put it on a graph. So see you then. 745. 745 a.m. I'm showing a negative 16.5 at this moment. I'm going to go with that number. It's pretty stable. Um, we're going to do one more reading at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm taking up your whole first hour doing this. Uh, you guys forgive me, but this is very important that we catch this uh, this very first hour, you know, throughout the hour. So, Because we're going to see an inter interesting spike in our voltage. So uh, hang in there. Um, I'll be back at 8 o'clock um, for our... Uh, I don't believe I'm going to do this every hour. I'm not going to record every hour. Uh, I, w I may come back about noon. And then perhaps six o'clock, and then as we close for the night. So um, we'll see you guys then. The first hour, uh, we're, we're doing four readings this first hour. Uh, we've done four so far. I'm showing uh, again uh, a negative uh, 16.5, fluctuating to 16.6. I'm going to just call that six, 16.6. Now that's a negative millivolt, negative 16.6 millivolts. So I, I'm going to record that. Um, you guys here, uh, I don't know if you can make this out. Uh, I started uh, here on the left-hand side of our graph paper. Now tonight, or tomorrow, that is when we get up, we're going to actually graph this out. And I wanted to say that, uh, and make sure you do put a positive or negative, or at least a negative, if a negative reading. Your readings may be totally different from mine. This, this depends on where you are, what's going on there in your field there may be many things and guys feel welcome uh, throughout the day you may see rapid changes or relatively rapid uh, study these see see what you think um, you may see uh, slow fluctuations up and down and up and down uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what that is at this point um, it's, they're called ultra low frequency waves this this these probes as, as simple as they are um, are very sensitive to the to the uh, the field around it so again guys do not step around your probes don't don't touch them it's going to induce a voltage i mean if you do go ahead and try it you'll see it's going to run your readings though so uh, try to stay away from them um, again throughout the day if you're going to be late on your hourly readings from here on that's fine just go ahead and mark the time now, there's no need to be anal like 1001 but if you're going to be 15 30 minutes late go ahead and log that the time uh, the actual time that you did it. There's a way to fudge that on our graph so we can represent a full day's uh, waveform. So, guys, again, 18, it's, uh, it's 8 o'clock and uh, I think I was 16.6, negative 16.6. So I'm going to log that. Maybe I'll grab a piece of toast and get some more coffee here. Um, make yourself comfortable. We're going to be here a while. Um, I'll see you here in a few hours. I'm here one more time. I'm not going to do this, uh, this live uh, recording uh, every hour, but... Uh, uh, it's 9 o'clock. We're at uh, negative 18.0 millivolts. I'm going to log that. Uh, now, um, 
again every hour on the hour for the rest of the day as long as we can I'm gonna hang in there for you guys see you later okay here we are guys last reading midnight we got it let's let's get these results inside and start charting them see you there hey guys well there was a long day yesterday I uh, haven't gotten my graph made yet uh, I think uh, we're gonna break this up into two videos this is getting to be a fairly long video so uh, we don't want to make it an hour long so uh, stay tuned for part two as we analyze our graphs uh, there's much to talk about uh, see you guys uh, bless you all if you hung in there it was a really rough long day but uh, we'll see you in part two bless you all